Oh, God. Oh, this fighter. There we go. Got him. That's a tank. Let's get our kayak in. Yes, those are my sunglasses going into the chocolate milk water under the dock. <gasps> so while I fish those out, I'll just let you know that today I'm fishing in the canals on Sanibel Island. I'll be targeting a multitude of fish, but mainly snook and sheep's head. I've never seen sheep's head as thick as they were this trip down there. So I've got fiddler crabs and a Thank plethora God. of artificials to Jeez. throw. Oh my gosh, what a start to the morning. Had to fish my sunglasses out. That was joyous. Okay, now let's go fish. Long time coming this morning. All right, I'm putting on a Fish Bites butt kicker. I believe it's pearl or white color. I don't know exactly what they call it, but it's basically the white color. There we go. All right, we're just gonna hit these docks on the way out. All right, we're on. What do we got? First fish of the day. Oh, God, dang, that's a decent snook. Oh, I wasn't ready, gosh dang it. What the heck? He didn't fight that hard. I didn't think he was that big and then, gosh, dog it. <laughs> nah, not afraid too bad. Golly, that's maddening. First fish of the day. Gosh, dog it. Fish bites paddle tail. It works. There we go. Oh, what? Little baby? What do we got? Hit. Little baby snook. All right, we we'll, won't even have to touch this guy. Oh, let's, sorry, bud. Hey. There we go. All right. <laughs> God, lose the monster and catch that one. Jeez. There we go. Oh, oh, little barracuda. <clears throat> All right, don't want to get near those teeth. Where are my pliers? Even though he's a little one, those teeth can still get you. You got to just let go. There we go. All right, let's keep these up too. All right, guys, we're getting back up to an area that's pretty productive. My past trips here. Should be some sheep's head around that bridge up there. It's time to try a little sheep's head. The canals on Sanibel Island have these little bridges and the sheep's head just love hanging around them. Got it. All right, little baby one. Ow, hey, hey, stop. Stop, flop. Come on, stop it. There we go, all right. Wow, that wasn't coming loose. There we go. All right, first sheep today. It's a good sign. Let's go right back to that middle spot. Go perfect. Oh, has he got it? Got him. Oh, that's a little better one. A little better one. Is 
that? Yeah, that's sheep. Oh, foul hooked. That's why it felt big. <laughs> All right. Wow. Don't foul hook these very often. All right. All right, buddy. Little guy. Oop. Hold on. Almost got you. There we go. All right. Got him. Oh, this might be a little better one. Yeah, I think so. A little bigger. Not massive. A little bigger. All right. Let's get the ruler out. We'll start measuring these, just so we know. All right, he's about 12, 13 inches. There we go. Let's see what's in there. Man, that's no time. Uh, that took no time. Wow. Yeah, another one about 13. Got him. It's a baby. Take that home, put them in the aquarium. All right, so what we're using here is just a split shot rig. I got 15 pound fluorocarbon with one little split shot and a number one mosquito. I'm sorry, guys. Mosquito hook, I knew that. All right, seems like maybe the bigger ones are deeper in. So let's see if we can get way back in there. Okay. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, dang it. All right, tide started coming in now. There we go. Uh, what are we? Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> On the crab. I'm always surprised by all the juvenile grouper you catch in these canals here. That's cool. Ooh, ouch. Trying to flare out his gills to get me. All right. All right, buddy. That's hilarious. There we go. What do we got? Another little decent one. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh. He's probably 13. Yeah, 12. 12 inches. All right, let's go through to the other side here. There we go, got him. All right. What in the, or is it just around his fin? Yep. There we go, all right. All right. Let's go try and find some bigger fish. Those were big, big sheep's head, I saw. There we go. That ought to do it. Oh, that was a good one. 
How did that hook pull? There's like 80 sheep's head right here. I've never seen sheep's head stacked up like this. This is so cool. Okay, now we're good. Drag's tight. I can see literally 30 sheep's head right there. Got him. And of course, it's a little, oh, stupid mangrove. All those sheep's head and a freaking mangrove gets it. Ooh, wrong way, wrong way. A little better one. A little bit better. It's probably right around 12. Yep, right at 12. It's not what we're after. There we go. We got a keeper now. All right. Oh, gosh. That's what I've been waiting on. Big one. Hook come out. Yep. All right. We'll keep this guy. Yep, little guy. Oh, not tiny, but not what we're looking for to keep. Ooh, ouch. Jerk. There we go. All right. All right, guys. We're going to move up a little bit. This marina looks really good. I've caught some big fish here before. So I moved over to the marina where I'd seen some true monsters before. Oh yeah, that's a tank. Oh yeah. That's a tank. Heck yeah. Woo. I didn't think I was going to get that big boy out of there. He might be perfect eating size, actually. Oh, yeah. We got our other eater. Nice. I'll hold him up for you first. Nice one. It's a pretty one. And where there's one big sheep's head, there's usually more. Got another good one. Yep, the big ones are here at the marina. Yep. Much better. That's a decent one. <laughs> oh, there's plenty. They're everywhere. Huh? Sheep's head. So back on the same piling again. Nice mangrove. 
That's probably a keeper. I'm not going to keep him, but ooh, he almost he almost got me there. <clears throat> well, we'll never know. <laughs> he almost got me. Well, second grouper on crab. That's crazy. Stop it. Let me see if I can. Yep, I'm going to have to cut it, buddy. You'll live. Cut it as close as I can. All right, crap, found a new hook. So I left the marina and started doing some sight fishing on some shallow docks. There we go. Oh, this fighter. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Crap, get the net, get the net. All right. This will make good grouper bait. Okay. All right, let's clip his tail. Make sure he's 12. Oh yeah. Okay, so if you fish with fiddler crabs and you know if they sit in their own Here, excrement too long, they'll die. So I like to rinse them with salt water every three to four hours. Probably need to rinse the crab. But a word to the wise, make sure your bucket's shut all the way before you do it. Crabs anyway. Oh, God dang it. I just dumped almost all my remaining crabs down the Mirage drive hole. I saved a few, but most of them went down. So since I decided to set my crabs free, I switched back to the Fish Bites paddle tail. <gasps> God, dang it, that was a good snook. That is exactly why you work your bait all the way back to the kayak when snook fishing. You pull your bait out of the water early like that, and you miss fish like that. There we go. All right. What is that? I got something good. What is this? Oh, it's a little jack. Oh, that'll be perfect for Goliath grouper bait. Good size. Perfect size to fly out. <laughs> 